Now welcome to Calculus Dictionary in Mathematics. In this video, I will teach you how to solve simultaneous linear equations using Gauss-Jordan method. So Gauss-Jordan method is a modification of Gauss elimination method. In this method, first the unknowns are eliminated and the system is reduced to diagonal matrix. So that is, each equation contains only one unknown. So from this equation, we can find the unknowns readily. So let us consider a three simultaneous linear equations a1x plus b1y plus c1z equals to d1 a2x plus b2y plus c2z equals to d2 and a3x plus b3y plus c3z equals to d3 so these are the three equations and here the unknowns are x, y, z. So we have to find the unknowns using Gauss-Jordan method. So the working rule for the Gauss-Jordan method is first, so write down the given equations in the matrix form. So that is A x equals to B, where A is the, the coefficient matrix, x is the unknown matrix and B is the constant matrix. So A the coefficient matrix. So the coefficients are a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3. a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3. And the unknown matrix x announce here are x, y and z and constants d1, d2 and d3. The next step is to write down the augmented matrix. So augmented matrix is nothing but we have to write the coefficient and the constants in one matrix. So that is the augmented the matrix. So a1, b1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3, D3. So this is the augmented matrix. Then what we have to do is, so right, reduce the system into a diagonal, the matrix by using simple elementary row transformations. So the diagonal matrix means except the diagonal elements, the remaining element should be the zero. So we have to make these three and these three elements zero by simple row transformations. So after the row transformations, the resulting matrix is some a1 dash 0 0 0 b2 dash 0 0 0 c3 dash and the constants are some d1 dash d2 dash and d3 dash so this is the the final matrix after elementary row transformations then if you see this rows, each row, each row contains only one variable and so this is represents x and this column represents y and this column represents z. So the first equation a1 dash x equals to d1 dash from the second row b2 dash y is equals to d2 dash and from the third row c3 dash z equals to d3 dash. So each equation contains only one unknown. So from this equations we can directly find the unknown. So x equals to d1 dash by a1 dash y equals to d2 dash by b2 dash and z equals to 
d3 dash by c3 dash. So in this way we can find the unknowns using Gauss-Jordan method. Let me solve one problem for easy understanding of the Gauss-Jordan method. Solve the system of linear equations x plus 2y plus 3z equals to 14, 2x plus 3y plus 4z equals to 20 and 3x plus 4y plus z equals to 14 using Gauss-Jordan method. So first you have to write the given equations in the matrix form a x equals to b where a is the coefficient matrix and x is the unknown matrix and b is the, the constant matrix. So the coefficients here are 1, 2, 3 and the second equation 2, 3, 4 and from third equation 3, 4, 1 and the unknown matrix x unknowns are x, y and z and constant matrix the constants 14 20 and 14 the next step is write on the augmented matrix so the augmented matrix is nothing but the constant matrix and the coefficient matrix and the constant matrix 2 3 coefficients 14 2 3 4 and 3 4 1 14 so this is the augmented matrix then the next step is elementary row transformation to reduce the this is given matrix into the diagonal matrix first we perform some simple the row operations then we should make these elements 0. So, first step is in the row transformation. The first step is first eliminate these two elements. So, these two elements to make these two elements 0, the operations used here are so by using the first row, this is the first row, and this is the second row, and this is the third row. So using the row 1 eliminate 2 from the, the second row. So R2 we are performing the row transformation for the second row. R2 R2 minus 2 R1 2 times R1 because here 1 is there. So if you multiply 2 times R1 and subtract it from the R2 this value should be 0 and by using the R1 make 3 0 so that is R3 3 R1 minus R3 so after row operation the resulting matrix so first equation first row same 1 2 3 and 14 and the second one r2 minus 2 r1 r2 is 2 and 2 r1 2 2 minus 2 0 and r2 3 minus 4 minus 1 and 4 minus 6 minus 2 and r to 20 minus 28 so minus 8 and for the third equation for the third row 3 r1 3 negative 3 0 and 3 to 6 6 minus 4 2 and 3 3 is 9 minus 1 8 and this is 3 14 minus 14 28 so next eliminate 2 and 2 from these equations so by using 
the second second row make these two elements zero so the operations used are r1 r1 plus 2 r2 and for third row same r1 sorry r2 r3 plus 2 r2 so r1 r1 plus 2 r2 r1 is 1 and 2 r2 is 0 so 1 and 2 plus 2 minus 2 0 and this is r1 is 3 3 minus 4 3 minus 4 minus 1 and r1 14 14 minus 16 minus 2 and the second row is same 0 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 8 and for third one third row 0 and this is also 0 and r3 r3 is 8 8 minus 4 4 and this is 28 minus 16 12 the next step is make these two elements zero using third row this is r1 r2 and r3 so r1 4 times r1 plus r3 and r2 2 times r2 plus r3 so after the row operations 4 times r1 so 4 times r1 is 4 and this is 0 and 4 minus 4 0 A four two is eight minus eight plus twelve, so this is four. And for the second row, two R two, so zero two R two minus two, and this is zero and two sixteen minus sixteen plus twelve minus four, and this is zero zero. Four, twelve. So now the system looks like a diagonal matrix. So this column represents the x, and this column represents y, and this column represents z. So now write down in the equation form. So four x equals to Four and minus two y is equals to minus four and four z equals to twelve or x equals to four by four that equals to one and y equals to minus four by minus two that equals to two and z equals to Twelve by four that equals to three. So the solution is x equals to one, y equals to two, and z equals to three. You can check whether the solution is right or wrong by simply substitute these values in any one of the equation. So just take the first equation: x plus two y plus three z equals to fourteen. So if you substitute x equals to one here, one plus y equals to two, two twos are four, and z equals to three, three three is a nine. 
and you will get the, the 14. So therefore, our solution is the right. If you feel this video is informative, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Click the bell icon for quick updates.